Hi everyone, welcome to EDC Ready. I'm your host, Mr. EDC. Today I'm going to talk about the different ways you can open and close a Spyderco Dragonfly 2. Now, a couple things about this knife you need to know about. Number one, it has a spider hole, okay, which uh, is one of my favorite ways of opening it. Second, only to a flip attack. Secondly, this is a lockback knife, meaning that uh, instead of having an axis lock or a compression lock or a liner lock, it uses a back lock, which is this this metal bar right here that catches the back of the blade and locks it into place. Now, a lot of people have uh, said that a back lock is not a fidgetable knife. I disagree. I feel like this knife is very fidgetable. Not the most fidgetable like access locks are very has a lot of fidget factor compression locks have a lot of fidget factor a certain flipper frame locks have a lot of fidget factor but do not underestimate the fidget factor of a knife with a lock back and here i'm just going to show you the different ways to open it the first and most straightforward way to open it is to use your thumb and just slowly rotate it around okay it's fine it's perfectly designed for that unfortunately it's a little bit sharp around here do check out my full review of this knife link in the description below and then you can just uh, find out how you can like uh, taper or round off these edges a little bit. I, I talk about that in the full review. So that's the first way of opening it. Second way of opening it, using that same hole in that same finger, you flick it open just like you would with uh, any other thumb stud knife, like so. Next up, you can open it with your middle finger flick, like this. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and then some people have the talent to use their, their index finger. I'm going to try it now. It's not something I do very often. Yeah, there we go. Now another way to open this is actually just to hold the blade itself along with the spidey hole and just flick it down like that. Okay. And to be honest, one of my favorite ways to open this, uh, this is my favorite way to open it like that. My second favorite way to open it is actually the, the two hand wheel like this. I don't know why. There's something very satisfying about opening this back lock with two hands there's just a nice a nice click that happens right there and it's just nice now closing this there are a couple of ways to close this uh, the first way i'm going to show you is the nick shabazz way where you put your finger right here you press down the the the, the back lock and then just shake it and then your finger your index finger kind of catches the choil like this then just flip it around and use your finger and push it back down i personally i do do that but yeah, it is not the most fun not fun way to close the knife for me. My preferred way of closing the knife is uh, like so. So the starting is the same. You press it down and you flick it down. And then when you turn it around, you just use your finger, put it back in the spidey hole and then close it like so. I like it this way because when you close it like this, okay, number one, your fingers get out of the way. Number two, you're already pinching the knife and then you can immediately put it back in your pocket like that. There's less finger gymnastics that happens like that. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you right there. A little bit difficult to do under the camera, but you get the idea. And of course, the final way to close it is you just press this and you close it like that, which is slow, but if you wanna be more discreet, you can do that. Then there are other ways I've seen people close this. Now, all these uh, flicking actions and closing action works if you have the pivot tuned properly too tight and it's not gonna flick or it's not gonna fall like that. Now, another way some people have done it that I've seen is that they've loosened up the pivot so much that they can just uh, press it like this. I'm gonna try doing it here. Press it like this and just flick it down like that. Okay, mine is not that. I, I don't find that very safe. I find that my fingers are in the way and I might cut myself. But yeah, that's all. So that is uh, the fidget factor of a backlock on a Spyderco Dragonfly. And I hope you like this video and of course, uh, check out my Patreon account if you want to help support this channel. Uh, help me upgrade the upgrade the channel a little bit. Maybe get better gear to review. And that's all. And stay ready. And I'm your host, Mr. EDC Ready.